Hey guys, this is Clay with Minute Ministry. We're almost to the point where I can edit videos again. Um, so I've got a couple more days. We've been going through the same two verses for the last couple days. It is in Luke 22, verses 31 and 32. And it says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan demanded to have you, that he may sift you like wheat. But I have prepared for you that I have prayed for you. But I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned again, strengthen your brothers. And I wanted to talk about this this first time. Simon, Simon. I, I love Peter. And I can tell you that his passion was something that, that drew him to Jesus. And I'm sure that hearing Simon, Simon would have been the most frustrating thing in the world. Like, if you want to put it, Jesus has already said, Simon, you know, like, you are now known as Peter, which is the strong rock, right? And then he goes on to say earlier in Scripture that this is the rock on which I'm going to build my church. Now, Catholics believe that this means building it on Peter, um, but we, can, we can't deny that Peter wasn't a leader of this first church. But all of a sudden, Jesus, whenever he's talking, it's kind of, Funny, whenever he's talking to Simon, whenever he is weaker, he says, Simon. But whenever he's talking about the strength and the things to come, he says, Peter. And sometimes where we are and what we give into, we kind of give into our old man. And you can call your old man whatever you want. In Peter's case, the old man was called Simon. And there are times whenever the old man maybe kind of takes the wheel a little bit more than he should. And Jesus calls that out. He calls it out. He says, Simon, Simon, you're not the one that's speaking out of passion. You're not the one that's speaking, you know, out of the strength of knowing who I am. You're not speaking in your faith of who I am. And that makes you no longer Peter, but you're, spe you're, you're driving the bus as, as Simon. And, you know, like, I think that there are times whenever maybe we need to be more dual in the way that we see ourselves. Maybe we need to be able to say, okay, wait, hmm, nope. This is fear guiding the way. This is my old man. This is my Simon. And, you know, like I need to recognize this, you know, like if Jesus is talking to me like I'm, like I'm walking as Simon, I see my Simon behind the wheel, then I need to know, oh, no, no, no. I need to trust in God. And so I, I just see this constantly in Scripture, and it's kind of, it's fun. Maybe at some point we'll talk about when Jesus comes back and he talks to Simon again after the resurrection. But we see that this doesn't change the love that Jesus has for Simon Peter. It's not that he cares about the works. It's that he cares about us. And so in this, I think that we can just take in the, the idea that, hey, we all have a Simon. And we've got to decide who's driving the bus. And once we decide that, you know, like we've got to make sure that we keep that in the right driver's seat. So thank you all for taking a minute.